And that, my friends, is the beautiful sound of a bundle being broken. All right, today we have some Bloomboro for you, and of course, I've been enjoying this set, uh, just playing it, and I think it's been long enough that the prices have kind of eased out and settled to where they're going to be for a little bit, barring, of course, some kind of breakout deck or something, but uh, it's been quite the adventure thus far. We've seen the talents go from pretty much bulk rares into almost all of them reaching uh, above, you know, three, four dollars, some of them even into the double digits, ten to twenty dollars uh, for the innkeepers and caretakers talents, so there's a lot actually here. Uh, of course, all of the all of the Calamity Beasts, uh, Beza and Lumra, uh, Maha, they're all doing quite well. So we'll be hoping to see some of those in here as well. Now this uh, box opening did happen a while ago. I don't exactly remember what's in here. I don't think it was super impressive. Either way, these bundles are always such great value, and in my opinion, it's one of the best ways to spend your money in a new set. Breaking into pack number one, let's see if we get something awesome, and we in fact did. Hugs is not an expensive card, but I think the flavor's on point, and of course, I'm all for the flavor. That being said, let's go ahead and make it to pack number two, which uh, she's been getting better at opening these packs efficiently. Uh, of course, after you do it a couple hundred times, you get used to it. The otters as well, I've been seeing a ton of otter decks on Arena. They have been absolutely destroying me, so there's something there with the otters. There's definitely something there. Uh, breaking into pack number three, do we get anything? I do like Cruel Claws Heist. In fact, I think that's a card that's grossly underpriced, and I think it's really, really good. Got a beautiful art card there. We do collect the art cards. Of course, we're trying to get one of each, and as we get the signed ones, we're re slowly replacing the non-signed ones. Anyways, do we get anything cool in pack number five? I don't think so. Manifold Mouse is actually a pretty decent card. It's just not that expensive. Uh, I feel like that's a lot of this set. There's a lot of really good cards. Uh, one that comes to mind immediately is Ember Heart Challenger as well. I've been absolutely hosed by that card on Arena a thousand times by now, but the card's like 15 cents. Finally making it to the pack of rare number five, the actual pack number five. I kind of lose count when I'm just rambling on while watching these videos back. And uh, like I said, it's been quite a time since we originally recorded this. So a lot of the information here is just lost to the anvils of my memory, which uh, isn't too good to begin with. Quailing Rebirth is another one of those cards I think is extremely good, but um, criminally underpriced, as it were. I've seen a ton of new builds around Coiling Rebirth, and of course, whenever you can get like a Vein Ripper or something on there, or maybe a Terror of the Peaks, it's always terrifying. Anyways, uh, the rare of this pack, nothing too crazy here, and moving into, I think the final pack, maybe the final two packs, uh, we'll be hoping for some, for some bangers, because so far it has been absolutely nothing. And that's like I said, uh, just for some reason, even though this set has been absolutely fantastic to play and there's a lot of strong cards here, there's just not a ton of value outside of the collector packs and wow, that was actually an insane pack with Caretakers and Lumra. <laughs> Okay, uh, I, if we get another pack like that, we might almost break even, but we would have to hit something absolutely insane. Uh, breaking into the last pack of the bundle, we have Rao. Well, you know what? We have a saying around here, and it goes, buy singles. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.